Good morning, boys. Today we are going to discuss next in it of topical alcohols. That is nomenclature of alcohols. Here, in the last period we have discussed classification of alcohols. Now we discuss here nomenclature of alcohols. Now. By discussing nomenclature of alcohols, first of all we will see the how to write the common name of alcohols. So here we will take one example and then I will take here that is for example consider here this we have taken Now, according to Carbonyl system, what they have given here? 
that is the alkyl group which is introduced here you have to write first name of that alkyl group here now here the alkyl group introduced is methyl group so we have to write the name of this alkyl group that is it is named methyl and then we have to add word carbino again here and so here that is we can write the name of this is that is methyl carbino that means the alkyl groups which are introduced here you have to write the name of alkyl group and then add word carbino here again we have to follow the alphabetic order here that means if different alkyl groups are present here then we have to follow alphabetically that is which group comes first here is it clear so here that is we have seen here that is how to write the common name of this alcohols here that is and another that is we have studied again addition to this carbonyl system here for example consider according to carbonyl system how we can write the name of this alcohol here now for example now in this alcohol here the introduced alkyl group it is this is the alkyl group here introduced here that is isopropyl group and so write the name of alkyl group so i write the name of alkyl group that is name it is isopropyl here and then we have to add word again carbonyl so name of this is that is according to carbonyl system that is it is named isopropyl carbonyl so question is asked here that is give the common name of compound is given you have to write the common name again for example that is the here structure that a common name is given and you have to draw the structure so this is about the common system and carbonyl system now here we'll see next here that is iupac system here that is how to write the iupac name of alcohols here that is another system iupac system again now according to iupac system again that is by applying the iupac rules we can write the name of any alcohol here but we have to follow the rules once again i will repeat all the basic rules here so one by one we will see here first rule that is we have to select the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms containing hydroxyl group that longest chain must contains hydroxyl group and it must contains maximum number of carbon atoms now if we see this structure in this structure here there are two longest chains here this one it is the longest chain another this one this is also the longest chain that means here here there are two chains but this chain it does not contains hydroxyl it must contains maximum number of carbon atoms and it also must contains hydroxyl group then the longest continuous chain we have selected here is it clear how to select the longest chain it must contains maximum number of carbon atoms and also it must contains the functional group that is here hydroxyl now second here that is you have to count the number of carbon atoms in that longest chain longest chain or it is also said to be the parent chain here so we have to count the number of carbon atoms in that longest chain here there are 1 2 3 three carbon atoms are present and write the corresponding name of alkene here so the corresponding name of alkene that is containing three carbon atoms it is propane here so here that is we have find out the parent here propane it is a parent now next here next rule that is we have to number the parent chain here now we have to know how to number the parent chain that is while numbering the parent chain here you have to number from that end to which end the 
heterophyll group is nearer. Now, if we see this parent chain, consider this is it is RHS, that is right hand side. For example, and consider this is L H S, that is left hand, left hand side. Now, from RHS, heterophyll group is present on carbon number one, and from LHS, it is present on carbon number three. That means it is nearer from RHS. So you have to number from RHS again. Here. So consider here we will number this chain that is one, two, three. So how to number the parent chain? That is you have to number from that end to which end the heterophyll group is near. Is it clear? Okay. Now we will see next rule here. Next rule that is we have to identify the side chain. Now side chain. Here there is one side chain is present here, and the group that is we have to identify the group it is methyl group here to the side chain. Again we have to identify its position. Now this methyl group it is present on carbon number two. So we have identified the that is the methyl group and its position that is two methyl. Is it clear? Now next here. Now the major changes which we all these are the basic rules here. Major changes that we here do that we do in the parent alkene. Now in case of parent alkene, what we have to do here? That is the ending letter E of the parent alkene. It is replaced by suffix O L here. What we have to do here? That is ending letter E of the parent alkene here. It is replaced by suffix O L here. Again, along with that, we have to indicate the position of functional group here. The position of functional group that is its position. It is one here. That is, it is present on carbon number one. Now, where we have to mention this position? So before writing this O L letter, we have to indicate the position of functional group. That means, for example, consider the position it is one. So here you have to write this position. You have to write this position here. That is before writing. That is suffix O L here. So we have to find out the side chain. Again, we have to find out the parent here. Now we will write the Name of this structure. So here the name of this structure it is. That is first of all we have to write the position of side chain. It is two methyl here, and then parent. Parent it is propane. Propane dash. Sorry, propane dash. It is one dash O L. So in this way we can write the IUPAC name of alcohol. That is by writing. See here once again I will repeat all these rules in short. What we have to do here? First of all we have to select the longest chain containing hydroxyl group. That chain that is considered parent chain. Then we have to count the number of carbon atoms in that parent chain and write the corresponding name of alkene here. That is considered to be the Parent alkene. Next, we have to number the parent chain. Number is should done from that end to which end the hydroxyl group is near here. Next, we have to identify the side chain, its position here, and next one that is the changes for the parent alkene that is here. Ending letter E is replaced by suffix O L. And before writing that, you have to indicate the position of functional group. So in this way, here it is. Again, I will take one example here. For example, consider here this. We will take another one example for discussion. So consider here this. We will take this example. It is.
Now we have to write the IPC names here. So first of all, that is we have to select the longest continuous chain here. Longest continuous chain that is consider this chain. This is the longest continuous chain here. That is consider there is another chain. This is also the longest chain. So for our sake, we will consider this. We will select this longest chain here. Next here we have to count the number of carbon atoms in that parent chain. So here there are how many carbon atoms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And write the corresponding name of alkene. So parent here it is hexane. So we have to find out the parent here. Next side chain here. Sorry, before that we have to number the parent chain. So numbering that is. Numbering should be done from that end to which end the that is the hydroxyl group is nearer. Now here from NHS it is present on carbon number three and from RHS it is present on carbon number four. So it is nearer from this end. So we'll number this chain again here. So consider here this we'll number this chain that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Here. Now here that is. Again, we have to identify the side chain here. Side chain that is there is one methyl group present on carbon number two, another methyl group is present on carbon number four here. That means there are two side chains. That is two side chains, two comma four next dash two cell methyl groups. So prefix di here. So we have to find out the side chain here. So in case of parent alkene, again here that is what we have to do here. Again here that is ending letter E. It is replaced by suffix O L here, and its position again here. Position it is three. So we have to indicate here this position. That means the parent will be here. That is it is hexane dash three dash. So we are writing right side chain again. Parent. Now we'll write the name here. So while writing the name here, see the name it is. That is two comma four dash dimethyl and parent. Parent it is hexane. Hexane dash three dash oil. So here. Its name it is 2,4 dimethyl hexane dash 3 dash oil. So in this way we can write the IUPAC name of this alcohol. Is it clear? Again we will take another example here. See here for example consider here this. That is consider another example that is. For example, consider here this. 